as you guys can see, this is all the resources that you're going to be needing. As I, After I ended up counting everything up and looking at it, it's not actually that many resources. So uh, what I do over here is I use the different colored wools to keep my circuits separated so I know which is which. But you guys can use whatever block you'd like. So this is about how many blocks you're going to need. I'm just going to grab all these out of here right now because we're going to be demonstrating how to build it. And uh, we're going to be needing all the rest of these items as well. And then the button to finish it all off. But yeah, so it's not actually that many resources when you look at it. But let's get started with the building. So we're going to come down here and put a couple blocks out like that. And then come up here and then just build out some blocks just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put some repeaters on the default tick right there. And then repeaters set to four ticks on both sides. Then we're going to come over here with an observer and squat and place it on there. Then we're going to take our block and put it there. We can go over here and do the exact same thing. So what we're doing right here is we are creating the circuit for the double piston retraction. So the second retraction is going to come out of here. So it's going to pull the block all the way down. And then if we just come out here, we're going to come out on two, two blocks on this side, one block on this side. Then we can just grab our observers back out and place them like that, take that block out. Then we can do the exact same thing on this side. So, and then we're gonna need to put some, actually, let's wait a second there, and we need to build a block up like this, and then a block up like that, and then easily come over here and place our sticky piston like that. And then we need to go there, 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 and there with the regular blocks. These are the only two blocks that need to be sticky or uh, half slabs so that the redstone can go right up them like that. And then we can go ahead and place redstone on all of these blocks, including that one. So you're going to need to grab a repeater here set to the default tick. Make sure that is on the default tick or else it will mess things up. Then we just need to come over here, and that, of course, is the part of the double retraction, all done and dusted, as you guys can see. I forgot to place redstone dust on top of those blocks, but as you guys can now see, we have a double piston retraction going on. So, we have that circuit all done. Now all we need to do is get these pistons all wired up. So in order to do that, we have these, these observers facing this direction, so we can place a piston like that on both sides and then we need to go ahead and grab an observer and go that direction and make sure it's facing this direction you guys or else it's going to mess everything up and we're going to go here here into a into a block like that and then we can go here set to four ticks set to four ticks redstone dust there and then off the edge of this block you guys are going to need a redstone torch and a just a regular block like that, punch that out, come out another block, and then go up one block and do a redstone torch on this side. And then we can just do redstone like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. Alright you guys, now that you have that copied onto the other side, you are all done. Believe it or not, your door is now functioning however you like it to be. Now the only thing that I will say about this door is that the incoming, that the input to it has to be a button. I haven't tested this with a wooden button or anything else, but it has to be a pulse. It cannot be from a lever or anything like that. I'll just demonstrate to you guys real quick what happens if, uh, if you use a lever. It does that. See? it does not fully retract or anything because those repeaters are still on. You have to use a button. Now let's see what happens when I... Yeah, see? It did the retraction there. Let's see what happens if I go like that. See, if you want to open it up, you got to flick it three times. But uh, yeah, so it works much better with a button. Let's just go there. As you guys can see, it worked flawlessly. So, that's going to be the end of this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my first redstone tutorial in a long while. I know I mentioned I'm going to be doing a witch uh, hut farm tutorial in the shortcoming future, and I will be. 
I just need to sort out how I'm going to get that done, and uh, I will be on that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys really enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and drop a subscribe on me. And uh, I hope you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.